If you've ever daydreamed about turning your laptop into a giant floating screen without packing an ultra-wide monitor into your carry-on, your answer is with AR glasses. Today, we're looking at the top five AR glasses for extended desktop use in 2025. And let's start with a fan favorite, the Xreal One Pro. Plug this into your laptop or phone that supports the correct video output, and it shows up to your operating system like a second monitor. Xreal's proprietary software makes multiple displays function really smoothly. You can slide Google Sheets to one side and your browser to the other, or stagger them over your real desktop if you're feeling fancy. What's neat is that it uses Sony's micro OLED panels, which deliver that inky black contrast you don't usually get in wearable displays. Color feels alive, like watching fireworks but without the noise complaints from your neighbors. The field of view feels convincingly large. I'd say something like a 170 inch virtual screen if you squint your imagination. Without making your peripheral vision feel like it's sponsored by tunnel vision and comfort wise, Xreal didn't just toss on some cheap plastic. The One Pro feels surprisingly sturdy and well balanced, not front heavy like a pair of binoculars attached to your head. So the benefits in plain English, roomy virtual screen, crisp display, and easy to treat like a genuine second monitor. But every hero has its Achilles heel. In this case, it's the ports. If your laptop or phone does not support what the industry calls display port over its USB-C, or if it only speaks HDMI, you'll need an adapter box that converts HDMI into the right language. Not the end of the world, but worth a mention for anyone who wants plug and play without digging through cable drawers. To sum up the X Real One Pro, it's the polished all-rounder. Sharp visuals, reliable second screen behavior, premium feel. Think of it like the nicely tailored suit of the extended display world. You look good, you feel good, and it won't embarrass you at your next video conference. All right, now let's talk about the Vitra Luma Pro. This is the brand new bright-eyed overachiever of the AR glasses crowd. It's on the same level of specs as the Xreal One Pro, but does have a significant advantage in brightness. You were talking close to a thousand nits. That means even if you're parked by a big sunny window or in a seat on the sun side of a flight, you're not going to be squinting to read text. The display resolution is sharper than most of its peers, which makes fine text and thin UI lines pop. It feels less like you're looking through a layer of slightly foggy glass and more like you've got a crystal clear portable monitor hovering in your personal space. Comfort is another win. The build feels sturdy, but doesn't press into your temples, and the audio tuning by Harman means you're not just getting tinny background noise, you're getting surprisingly full sound for something this tiny. Great for zoning out to your playlist while hammering through emails. Like the Xreal, the Luma Pro plugs in and shows up as a real extended display, so you can toss your code editor in one space and your reference docs in another. But while the X Real leans into a wider field of view, the Vitra's party trick is keeping things vivid and usable when the lighting is working against you. The trade-off? It's a touch more expensive. And if you're the kind of person who's always working in dim, cozy lighting, you might not fully appreciate what you're paying for. This is really for people who work on the go and hate losing visibility because of glare or bright surroundings. So if your workflow often includes parks, cafes with too many windows, or that dreaded airplane window seat at high noon, the Luma Pro is your ticket to seeing everything clearly without cupping your hands over the lenses like a weirdo. Now let's move over to the Rainio Air 3S, the one in this lineup that feels the most like a portable monitor someone cleverly disguised as eyewear. If the Luma Pro's big selling point is blinding brightness, the Air 3S is all about comfort and eye health for long haul sessions. We're talking 2V certified eye comfort, flicker reduction, and hybrid dimming to keep your eyes from feeling like you've stared into a flashlight for three hours straight. That makes it a quiet powerhouse for people who actually work in these things for hours, not just watch a movie on a flight. The display is roomy. Rainio likes to call it a 201 inch virtual screen, but what really matters is how monitor-like it feels. The proportions and clarity make it easy to forget you're looking at projected micro OLED panels. For extended display use, that means your spreadsheet columns aren't turning into mush and your text editor feels like, well, your text editor. It hooks up over USB-C with DisplayPort Alt Mode, just like the others we've seen so far. If your laptop or phone speaks that language, it's plug and play. If it doesn't, you'll be shopping for a powered HDMI to USB-C adapter. Not the sexiest accessory, but once you've got it sorted, the Air 3S plays nice. Where it really shines is in those multi-hour stints. Editing photos, reviewing documents, coding. The hybrid dimming tech cuts down on eye strain in a way you notice after a full workday. It's the kind of detail that doesn't sound exciting in a press release, but makes you appreciate it after you realize you didn't end the day with that fried retina feeling. 
If you want something that disappears into your workflow, not too flashy, not trying to win a brightness arms race, the Rainio Air 3S might be the sleeper pick in this group. Next up is the X-Real Air 2 Ultra. Basically the Air 2 that went to a luxury spa, got a titanium frame, and decided it wanted to be taken very seriously. At first glance, it's the most executive looking pair in this lineup. Slim arms, refined build, and just enough polish to make you feel like you should be wearing them in a high-speed trains business class cabin while your view quarterly reports, which might actually be you catching up on YouTube. For extended display work, the Air 2 Ultra is all about two things, clarity and control. You've still got those Sony micro OLED panels pushing crisp 1080p per eye, but now you can crank the refresh rate up to 120 hertz in 2D mode. That means smoother scrolling, snappier window dragging, and just an overall more fluid desktop experience. Not vital for a Word doc, but if you spend time in complex UIs or creative apps, it's one of those, once you try it, you can't go back features. Then there's the electrochromic dimming, three levels from fully clear to full blackout, and just see it at the tap of a button. If you've ever been mid-presentation and realized the sun decided to make a guest appearance, this is your instant fix. Or if you're in a coffee shop and don't want everyone to see your screen reflection in the lenses, full dim is basically stealth mode. Like the other x real models, it'll happily act as a real second monitor the moment you plug it into a DP alt mode USB-C port. If you go the HDMI route, you'll still need that powered adapter. But the payoff here is a device that straddles the line between professional productivity and entertainment without feeling like it compromises either. If the x real One Pro is the all-rounder and the Luma Pro is the brightness champ, the Air 2 Ultra is the refined pro athlete polished looks, versatile features, and just enough high-performance edge to make you forget you're wearing what's technically still a pair of glasses. And finally, we have the NR2 Pro, the underdog in this group. It's not plastered across ads in every airport lounge, but it quietly checks all the boxes for extended display use and then throws in a couple of tricks the bigger names don't bother with. Visually, it's rocking solid 1080 Pi per eye with a refresh rate up to 120 Hertz, so your desktop looks sharp and fluid. The virtual screen size is a bit more modest, roughly the equivalent of a 135 inch display, which might sound like a downgrade if you've been hearing 170 or 200 inch claims all video long. But here's the thing, that slightly smaller size can actually make it easier to focus, especially for tasks like coding or writing where giant fields of peripheral pixels just become a distraction. The real curveball is its multi-screen and ultra-wide modes when connected to a Mac or Windows machine. Instead of just one massive floating desktop, you can split your view into multiple anchored virtual monitors or stretch your workspace extra wide like a wraparound ultra-wide monitor. For productivity nerds, that's a big deal unless you can keep your reference material, chat, and main project all visible at once without constantly tabbing around. Build quality is good for the price, and it's light enough that you can actually wear it for a full work session without feeling like you're in neck day training at the gym. Audio is serviceable, not on the same level as the Harman Tune Luma Pro, but perfectly fine for video calls or background music. The catch? Inar isn't as widely distributed as Xreal or Vitur, so depending on where you live, you might have to hunt for a reliable seller. And because it doesn't have the same marketing push, you won't find as many polished accessories or official adapter recommendations, so doing your compatibility homework is key. But if you want solid visuals, smooth refresh, and unique desktop flexibility without paying flagship prices, the In-Air 2 Pro might just be the hidden gem in the extended display space. If this helped you figure out which one fits your setup, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss the deep dive comparisons coming next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.